gonorrhea is what I will discuss in this video. And gonorrhea is a sexually transmitted disease that is acquired with infection with an organism known as Neisseria gonorrhea. Now this uh, bacteria can affect a lot of places but the most common places are the urethra, the cervix in a woman, and sometimes the eyes in a, in a neonate. Neisseria gonorrhea is described as a gram-negative diplococcus and what that just means is that when you look at it under a microscope it is a bacteria that appears in pairs like that. As I mentioned it's transmitted sexually so it is a sexually transmitted disease and other than that the other way a person can get it is a newborn baby uh, can get an eye infection when the baby passes through the birth canal if the mother has um, Neisseria gonorrhea infection. So those are the key types of infection. There is one other one that I really wanted to mention. It's called pelvic inflammatory disease. And pelvic inflammatory disease can also happen in uh, women if they acquire gonorrhea. And before I get into the symptoms, I really want to mention about co-infection because co-infection with chlamydia, which is another type of sexually transmitted disease, is quite common. It can happen in 15 to 25 percent of men and it can happen in 35 to 50 percent of women who get gonorrhea. So because co-infection is, is so common, when they treat gonorrhea, they treat chlamydia at the same time. So what are some of the symptoms? If we're talking really about the most common type of gonorrhea infection, with the, which is infection of the, of the urethra, what you'll have is symptoms as follows. You'll have pain, in particular pain during urination, dysuria. You'll have this discharge uh, that comes uh, out and is quite characteristic in terms of its color, yellow, green. And then you'll also have urinary frequency going to the bathroom more than usual and have a sense of urgency as well. One um, complication of gonorrhea that I wanted to talk about that is tested a lot, even though it doesn't happen that much in real life, is gonococcal arthritis. Believe it or not, this bacteria can also cause arthritis, and if it does, you'll have the classic symptoms of joint swelling, joint pain, and uh, limitation of movement. So keep that in mind. Now let's talk about how do you diagnose gonorrhea. Well, you have to basically take the urethral discharge, and you have to test it. You have to do a culture and a gram stain. And when you do that, you'll see the characteristic gram-negative diplococci. In terms of treatment, the treatment for gonorrhea involves an IM shot, intramuscular shot, of ceftriaxone. So please remember that. Now, remember I talked a little bit about co-infection, how co-infection with chlamydia is so common. So because of that, when they treat gonorrhea, they also treat chlamydia at the same time. So in, in addition to giving the ceftriaxone, you also give doxycycline to treat the chlamydia. Or you can give azithromycin. Those are your two choices. And these are given actually as pills orally. And one final point, also treat the sexual partner. Very important. Why? Because it's a sexually transmitted disease and if you don't treat the sexual partner the patient can get reinfected. Let's take a look at a few vignettes now. 18 year old girl comes to the clinic because of a three-day history of vaginal discharge. Discharge is malodorous and has a greenish yellow color. She admits to sexual intercourse with a random guy at a fraternity party five days earlier. Physical exam shows malodorous purulent vaginal discharge complete physical and pelvic exams are unremarkable. 
gram stain of the discharge shows gram negative diplococci with polymorphonuclear leukocytes. Culture on chocolate agar confirms the diagnosis. Most appropriate next step is. All right, well, let's go through these. Admit her to the hospital and give IV therapy. Uh, that's not really needed at this time. Maybe if it had progressed a pelvic inflammatory disease, you know, and she had uh, febrile illness, perhaps, but not at this point. Contact the Board of Health to report a case of gonorrhea. This is true, but the first step is to treat her. So, yes, but after the patient is treated. Contact the random guy and provide treatment and counseling. Yes, that is true, but the next step is, of course, choice D, which is give her the ceftriaxone I am shot and then a single dose of azithromycin to cover the chlamydia because co-infection is so common. And then finally, prescribe metronidazole. Metronidazole is not the appropriate uh, choice for this condition. And the final one, 25-year-old man presents uh, with complaints of dysuria for six days. He had had multiple uh, female sexual partners in the past two months. Physical exam shows yellowish penile discharge with inguinal adenopathy but no genital ulcers. Gram stain of the discharge shows intracellular gram negative diplococci and leukocytes. Which one of the following should be used? Well, again, ceftriaxone is the correct choice, but because co-infection is so common, you treat both gonorrhea and chlamydia at the same time. So ceftriaxone IM with doxycycline PO would be the correct answer.